Hi there, it's Wade McMaster from creatorimpact.com here. Uh, today's video, uh, I'm just going to show you a new feature by YouTube that helps you determine when your actual YouTube audience is online. Now, of course, you do need to have at least some views coming to your videos at this stage for this to work, but at the same time, if you've got even just a few trickling in, it at least gives you something to work with if there's any kind of consistency to it. So, basically, I'm going to show you where you can find this feature and also basically how you can use it when you're sort of uh, publishing your videos. So if I go up the top here to my little icon and go to YouTube Studio, I actually go into my analytics down the left here. And from there, if I go to my audience tab, all I need to do is scroll down and you'll see this section here, when your viewers are on YouTube. And this information is taken from the last 28 days. So you can see here, basically, the darker the block, the uh, the more. So there's see few viewers, few viewers here when I hover over a light block and very many viewers when I hover over a dark block. So this shows me the best times, in my opinion, sort of like the best times to actually publish a video because obviously... Now, it says here publish time is not known to directly affect long-term performance of a video, but at the very least, when you first publish a video, if most people are going to be online and yours lands at that time, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to reach more people, at least in the beginning, which gives your video more of a chance to prove its quality and sort of move ahead. So basically, what, I've, what I would do is I would say, okay, I've got three sort of spots here where it's at its busiest. So I've got, um, because I'm in Australia, and most of my audience, audience is in the US, uh, most of my times are actually very early in the morning. So 2 a.m. on Tuesday morning, 12 a.m. Friday morning, and 1 a.m. Saturday morning. So that just shows you that uh, basically I'm not going to stay up <laughs> to the wee hours of the morning to publish at these times, but I'm going to take note of it. So what I would do is actually record these times and then in a month or two check again and see if there's any adjustments that need to be made. Now what I would do from there is uh, if I'm looking to... Uh, get my videos published at the right time. I'm going to go head into my videos tab. There's a few videos here. Uh, I will blur some out just because uh, there's a few private videos in there for customers of mine. All right, I'm going to click this video to edit. And you see here, we've got my video options. Um, by the time this video is released, this video will actually already be live. But what I'm going to do is basically once I've set up the video, set up my tags, I've set up everything the way I want it to, where it says visibility here on the right, I'm going to click my little drop down and we're going to go to uh, schedule. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually choose the day. So today is Monday, I'm going to choose Tuesday and I'm going to choose. I'm going to go 1.45 a.m., so 15 minutes before the bulk of people are online. So that way I'm sort of not arriving and showing up in the middle, people hopping on and there I am as one of the more more recent videos. So it's Tuesday, May 12th, 1.45 a.m. And then I click done. And when I'm ready, ready, I just click save. And now that video is scheduled. So now if you're working on, uh, if you've got a bit of a content calendar, which is something I recommend, you can open up a spreadsheet and you go, okay, for the next month, I'm publishing at these times on these days. Fill in the topics of the videos or the videos, you've, if you've already made them, uh, into those areas. And um, yeah, you can start publishing at that uh, optimized time. So I hope you found that video useful and interesting. Only a quick one, but something worth checking out if you weren't aware of it. So um, once again, if you just head into analytics, sorry, not while you're editing a video, head out to, and to down here to your analytics after you've exited the video go to audience at the top scroll down when your viewers on youtube so at the time of making this video that's where it is i don't know if they'll move it in the future which happens a lot when you do screen capture videos with features like this but something worth checking out and worth using so if you like that video please give it a like if you want more tips like this please subscribe otherwise um, have a great day and if you have any other questions or anything you'd like me to look at leave a comment below and i'll talk to you next time see you later